Hi, today I want to talk about verification, validation, and the iPhone. In fact, I'm recording this entry on my brand new iPhone 4, which I'm very pleased with for the most part, but as many of you know, the iPhone 4 has kind of gotten a little bit of a bad reputation over the last several days after having found out that, well, Apple didn't do the best job of a couple of uh, engineering practices we hold near and dear, such as validation and verification, which many organizations mistakenly believe is just about testing. Well, Apple learned the hard way that you can't test everything and figure out whether or not you've done all the engineering you need to. So in particular, validation would have helped them figure out that most users hold their phones to talk to them. And those types of users who hold their phones to talk are going to have an antenna problem when their hands and the way their body conducts the uh, antenna signal blocks the signal. Go figure. Not unrelated exactly is where they had a verification problem when they didn't understand or didn't realize that had they done verification of their algorithms to, do, to figure out whether the math was right, but to determine the bar strength or the actual bar, not the strength, but that the indicator on the, it, the phone itself was a reflection of how many actual bars you have, in other words, how strong your signal. So the algorithm that converts actual signal into display signal dis is, was, was messed up. Those are the kinds of things that verification cover for you. You verify whether or not what you have designed or what you have created in the algorithms are going to actually work. You run the math, in other words, with verification. Having done this on satellite systems and in other manufacturing situations, it's actually very natural for many of us to understand how verification and validation work. Unfortunately, there are many companies out there who still think that verification and validation is nothing more than testing. Well, if they would probably done a lot of testing, so the testing didn't find these problems, clearly there's something missing. Engineering called verification and validation. Apple, if you want that to never happen again, give me a call.